Hello, my name is Marcelo Vignali, and today in the Design Lab, we're going to be taking a look at the works of Frank Frazetta. Frank Frazetta is one of my favorites, from his uh, storytelling to the structure and the composition of his work. We're going to be doing a breakdown of some of these techniques and tips that he used in his work. Now, I've gone ahead and broken this series up into five different parts. Now, typically I wouldn't do this with, an, with other artists, but his work, Frank Frazetta's work, is so specific and so effective in, in all of these tools that he's using. So part one, what we're talking about is we're talking about from ink to paint, how he made the translation from comic books all the way through to uh, as an illustrator. And then so in part two, uh, we, we're gonna be looking at the early work and the growth and development of Frank Frazetta. Uh, this is important because typically uh, artists, uh, they're on a trajectory and they, they strive to get better at a particular something. Let's say it's comic books, and, as it is in Frank Frazetta's case. And he was able to do that, but he didn't stop there. At about 39 years old, he transitions from comic books to illustration and then the trajectory just takes off all over again. Within, within a few years, he's at the top of the illustration market. Then in part three, we're going to be looking at from roughs to final. And I, I, I look at Frank Frazetta's roughs, and uh, he's, he's got several books that he's, uh, he's put together on roughs. And you get to see uh, how he thought about his projects before he started. A lot of people, a lot of young people, are unaware how to take your drawings from the rough stage into the final stage. And I want to show you how effective uh, Frank was in doing that. Because Then in part four, uh, we're going to be covering composition, uh, which, uh, which includes the, the, the way he's breaking up his illustrations. Uh, and, and a lot of it has to do with the, with the fractals that I keep talking about. Uh, then also the silhouette, how he uses silhouette to communicate things. Uh, then in part five, we're going to go into dynamic composition. Now, dynamic composition, uh, when I think about it, it is prob probably the most quintessential aspect of what Frank Rosetta has done, both in his comics and then later on in illustration. So uh, please join me for the complete Frank Rosetta series. But also what I've done is I've broken it out uh, into these five parts uh, because not everybody is going to be interested in some of these topics. And I would imagine that uh, this might be just easier for all of you to simply pick and choose which of these topics you would like to see or you would like to learn about. So uh, please join me for the rest of this uh, series uh, on Frank Frazetta into the design laboratory as we begin to dissect the works and sort of reverse engineer, reconstruct the steps that Frank Rosetta took in order to create his amazing imagery.